So in this segment, we're going to be telling, uh, talking about Lord Frost telling uh, President Biden to butt out of Northern Ireland row, saying Britain doesn't need lectures from other countries about the peace process, even though the only reason the peace process came about is because other countries uh, intervened and help us, helped us get the Good Friday Agreement because um, many Irish nationalists didn't trust the British government, for good reason. So this is just comical. You know, he's talking at the Heritage Foundation as well. That's a US think tank telling them to stay out of our business. So one of Johnson's former ministers told Joe Biden to butt out um, of Northern Ireland row, saying the UK didn't need lectures from outsiders, even though we're constantly lecturing other people. But OK, Frost uses appearance at a conservative think tank in Washington to attack the US president for intervening. <laughs> Sorry, it's funny. Especially when the US government is telling us to go back to talk to the EU, but he's also telling France and Germany to be more lenient with us and to you know offer more concessions. So this is just comical. He's actually helping us. Um, earlier this week, the White House issued a slap down of the Prime Minister um, to alter the trade agreement after the UK left the EU because it was unpopular with unionists, you know, uh, you know, one part of Northern Ireland. Um, Biden's spokesperson told Johnson to um, show leadership and keep talking with EU envoys. Asked about Biden's interventions after a speech at the Heritage Foundation, Frost suggested his administration did not really understand Northern Ireland. Like what? If there's any, if there's any, if there's any American that would be qualified to talk about Northern Ireland, it'd probably be Joe Biden or Richard Neal, one of those people who actually have a vested interest in Northern Ireland and Ireland. Um, he goes, uh, Frost says, I know the administration is looking at this very closely. I'm not convinced the niceties are well understood, the peer and former Brexit minister said. I'm going to scrub in some old quotes from Joe Biden here. The left, will you shut who is up, your, man? Listen, who, come on, man. He goes, I get slightly frustrated when we are told by a third country um, how to manage our issues. It's our country that faced terrorism. It's not just our country, though, was it? Um, I'm old enough to remember checking uh, check my car, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so we don't need lectures from others about the peace process and the Good Friday Agreement, even though we don't actually understand the Good Friday Agreement. We are well aware of this and nobody wants to go back to it except you do. At least it feels like you do. In the end, it has got to be our judgment what is needed to preserve that agreement and preserve the unity of the country and the consent of everybody in Northern Ireland with these arrangements. Except, you know, you're not going to appeal to everyone, though, because you're going to annoy um, the Irish nationalists. That's going to be the problem. You're not going to get the consent from everyone because the DUP want the scrapping of the protocol. Um, there's not much more here. Apart from there was a couple of bits, you know, the Daily Mail actually giving uh, an accurate timeline of events that led up to the protocol, which you want to read this you know the daily mail don't actually lie here which is surprising but um you know him telling joe biden to butt out is just comical especially when britain constantly gets involved in other countries affairs um and now he's telling a guarantor of the good friday agreement to sit out because he doesn't understand northern ireland even though he would have been probably biden would have been a senator around the time the good friday agreement was agreed and i think it was he was one of the ones who put a lot of pressure on then president bill clinton to get something done here and you know in the end they did the americans actually delivered um, and they helped get the Good Friday Agreement across. So it, it just beggars belief that these people just don't get that the Good Friday Agreement is an international agreement, the EU are guarantors of it, and the Americans are guarantors of it. So telling the president to back out is just ludicrous. But um, anyways, I'm going to leave it there. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Support the channel on Patreon if you can, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.